Players know they should be doing this, but whether they actually do it in a match or not is a different story. Hey team, we are in Paddle Tampere in Finland and today we're going to discuss a really difficult element of the game that you probably know that you should be doing and are finding it difficult to execute and that is hitting the ball softly or slowly. It can be really difficult if your opponents are hitting the ball fast and you're the one trying to slow that game down. How do you do that? Because that's a question that a lot of our students are asking and in this video we're going to talk about it. So the first thing to say is it's not specifically a hard shot, but more a hard hitting style. Now, I also came from a tennis background and I came immediately on the paddle court hitting fast volleys, fast smashes, and lots of paddle coaches told me at the beginning, like I'm telling lots of players, that they need to slow the ball down and play more softly and use things like the lob and the chiquita and things like that. But it's really difficult when you're the only one trying to do that on the court and everyone else is hitting fast. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is it's not specifically a single shot, but it's the hard style. Yeah, the heavy hitting, particularly from tennis players, but not just tennis players that hit fast on the court how we can actually slow that game down and bring them down to the speed that you want. So the first thing to say is that you need to learn in your game, and this is probably best in training, hitting lobs and chiquitas. Yeah, these are two shots that change the rhythm of the point, and that is really what you want to try and do, because if you think about a paddle court, yet yeah, you and your partner, you're covering a width of 10 meters, but if you think of it lengthways, you're covering the whole 10 meters yourself, yeah? Uh, a single side of the court is 10 meters by 10 meters. And so this is where a lot of players, you know, are trying to pass their opponent and hit through them, but actually it's much more difficult to cover this space as an individual player rather than the gaps if people are trying to hit through you. So the first thing that you need to be aware of is that if you want to change the rhythm and make it difficult for your opponents is to play in that length and, and by doing that using the lob or using the chiquita to bring them forward and create space behind them or if they're too far back hitting down to their feet and bringing them forward and, and that is something that is just important to understand is that you've got space behind your opponent rather than always to try and go past them. So a common argument from our players is that, yes, they know they should hit lobs and chiquitas, but the opponents are hitting too fast and they're unable to hit those shots off the fast ball that is coming towards them. And then when I go on the court with the player and we look at how it's working or we watch some of their matches, we're seeing that players are always half volleying and volleying. And the first thing to say is it's much more difficult to hit a lob and a chiquita off a volley or a half volley than it is to allow the ball off the glass. Yes, I, might, I know you might not be as confident playing that ball off the glass, but the idea that the ball firstly is probably traveling another three or four meters because of the distance that with the rebound as well. And also when it rebounds off the glass, the ball slows down. So even though you might be less confident than hitting in front of you, if you can learn to allow the ball off the glass, it will buy you so much more time. And when you're playing against fast volleyers or fast smashers, if you're trying to do this and try and change the pace with half volleys and, and volleys, it's gonna be so difficult. So the first thing is allow those fast volleys and fast smashes off the back glass. Now, particularly with smashes, if it is against someone who smashes really hard and really fast from the other side of the court, as soon as you hit up that lob and they've been doing it already in the match, just move forward in your court and allow that ball to come off the glass. You actually have more time than you think if you move early enough in their preparation. The next piece of advice is to use the high lob. Yeah, that is something that is very difficult for your opponents to hit an aggressive smash on. The chiquita is a little bit more of a, a, an advanced skill because if you hit your chiquita and it's a little bit high, they can still hit a really aggressive fast volley. But the high lob, if you can really get underneath that ball, contact underneath the ball to get a nice high trajectory, that is very difficult, even at a good level, to hit a good smash, a good fast smash off a high ball because obviously the higher ball is gonna be dropping faster, therefore it's more difficult for them to hit with good timing. They will have to end up hitting a slightly more defensive overhead, which will force them to slow the ball down. Yeah, so the Chiquita is a great option, but it's slightly more skilled. The high lob, 
you just need to get really practicing coming underneath that ball and hitting some high lobs, and you will find that that is a great way to slow the game down. So the next tip for slowing the points down is to do this from the beginning of the point. Yeah, when we talk to players and we say, well, they, they just couldn't slow it down, and then we watch the game again, the player is serving and they're hitting a rocket of a return and then they're wondering why the point is so fast after that. Yeah, if they've hit a serve, this is a great opportunity because they can't hit a really, really fast serve. Yeah, I mean, players can hit quite fast serves, but you can actually quite easily lob that or hit down to the feet. Even if they hit a very fast serve off the side glass, you can just block that ball relatively softly and if you can get it down to their feet, again, they can't attack that next ball. The problem arises when you hit a fast return and particularly a return that comes at chest height or above the height of the net and therefore they can be aggressive straight off that first ball. But if you can start the point quite slowly, then that's how you can actually mean to go on in the rest of that point. So that's something to really bear in mind, particularly with the return because you're obviously going off the speed of their serve. When you're serving, again, you can hit you know, a medium to fast serve and then hit your first volley nice and slow down the center of the court and that will set the tone for the rest of the point. Also, players watch the World Paddle Tour level and they don't realize how often these players are using the lob and the chiquita. So we're just gonna cut to a clip and you can count how many lobs and chiquitas they're hitting in a point, just to give you an idea of how much you should be putting into your games. You can see there that they use them so often and pretty much every ball that a player hits from the back of the court is either a lob or a chiquita, yet they're trying to really change the rhythm of that play. Now, on this side, I'm going to put our course on lobs and chiquitas and this is dedicated to those two parts of the games because they're quite complicated and quite high skill level, but it's easy to break down if you know how. And then up here, I'm also gonna put a video on two different types of lob so you know there's more to that part of the game. 